Hey everybody, super excited to be here and actually to see so many faces after the Becht party. I thought it's going to be less people in the crowd today. Uh, so, what I want to do first before I go into the presentation is I would like everybody to close your eyes right now, connect with your body, connect with the room, and think about your relationship with food. Think about your childhood. Think about your favorite dishes you grew up with, and the family and friends you spent those very, very precious moments with. What flavors and scents come to mind? What can you taste? What can you smell? Think about those products. What does come up for you? Our relationship with food is a reflection of us being biological organisms, psychological organisms. It's a reflection of our memories, of our preferences. At its core, it's just deeply human. We all care and love food. So with that emotion that you just connected with, I want you to open your eyes and see the reality that we have today. It's actually super crazy that the thing that we all care about so much, that we all love so much, food, when we look at how we produce it today, how we distribute it today, it's completely different from our emotions. It's extractive, and the system that we have put around it is not resilient at all and not caring at all. And we see it every day with the pandemic, with the war in Ukraine. We see so much pressure on a production system that is keeping up with so many challenges, but we cannot keep up and the pressure is getting only worse and worse. So the thing that we love so much has become a sign of destruction, of cruelty, and it's not getting better, because agriculture is the leading contributor to climate change, and climate change will, again, completely disrupt the way we need to produce food. And since we are at Slush, I don't think it's a surprise to anybody that the biggest issue that we have or the biggest part of the issue is actually animal mass factory farming. Animal factory farming consumes 30% of fresh water today. Animal factory farming uses 80% of farmland while only giving us 20% of calories. Animal factory farming, according to the UN, very conservative numbers here, is responsible for 15% of anthropogenic or man-made greenhouse gas emissions. So the message is very clear. We have these products we love that we connect with, but we have a system that is m reaching its limits, and we have to drastically reduce our dependencies on animals to produce these products. The issue obviously being, when we look at the picture, this is already mouth-watering. We are, as we already explored, we're psychological, emotional beings, and we connect so many great memories with the foods we consume on a daily basis. It's part of our identity, it's part of our culture, and it's just not easy to say, you know what, this is not good, just give it up tomorrow, right? And also, specifically, in our understanding of how we want to live together in society, prohibition also won't work. Dairy specifically would be a super important thing to get rid of the animals. Why? Because just as a reference here, the dairy industry contributes or is responsible for as much greenhouse gas emissions as the whole shipping and the whole aviation industry together. All planes, all ships, equal to dairy. It's insane. But it's, the, it's really, really hard to replace dairy um, without animals. And we see today, you might love your Oatly Barista, you know, there's some great milk alternatives, but it's a super broad category and it's super hard to replace the products we all love. So what is the solution? The solution is that instead of raising cows, burping cows, craving them together in small farms and let them convert nutrients into the dairy products we all love, we have to find a more efficient way, and it's basically getting rid of the cows and using microorganisms. Formo is engineering microorganisms that, when put in a process of fermentation, produce the same ingredients that the dairy cows produce for us, from milk proteins to milk fats, which we then can harvest and use to produce the identical product that you all love, but without the cows who actually have this really, really bad sustainable impact. The process that Formo is using uses much less resources. 
So we use less land, less water, we have less greenhouse gas emissions, it's much more efficient, and we don't have the animal in the process. So not only sustainability-wise it's much better, but also all your concerns around ethical, ethical uh, agriculture and consumer health are actually eradicated with this process. I want to show you a very, very quick video of combining what Formo is doing in its bio labs and food science labs and how we produce products with that, working together with Michelin star chefs today on dishes that are just exactly what you have always been consuming but without the downsides. If that plays. I need to click, I guess. Cool. So. Already today, we are working with a variety of chefs here, featuring Ricky Sawart from Frankfurt. He was actually the world's first fully plant-based Michelin star chef, sourcing all of his ingredients from only a radius of 20 kilometers around his restaurant. He has not been using any animal ingredients in his kitchen, but working with us, he basically can now go back to the foods that have been part of our cultures for millennia and produce completely new structures, flavors, and amazing consumers in his restaurant and all around the globe. It's super cool to see because we have set out to change this industry and getting the feedback also from high-end cuisine that the products we produce really perform the exactly same way. It's just amazing to see. And as you can already see from the presentation, the products that Formo is mostly focusing on is cheese. As I said before, milk alternatives already exist. It's much easier to basically replace. But the holy grail, and I think this goes for most also flexitarians in the room, is how do we replace cheese? Since this is a launch presentation, I want now to reveal that Formo is going to be the first company to actually place animal-free cheese in the market that really deserves the name cheese. This selection, as you can see, is a variety of products that we will launch, ranging from fresh spreads to soft cheeses, common bear-like, chevre-like cheeses, but also aged and blue cheeses that taste and feel exactly like the products you love, but without the downsides. We at Formo believe that the time is ripe for animal-free, also in cheese, we're using science to produce it in a better way. We have an amazing team here to talk with all of you, and we would love to collaborate on producing a better food system for everybody. Thank you so much.